All right, Cotton Ball. It's time to harden that shell of yours with this review. Take it. Eat it. Love it. This is Lesson MCADG-A13 Recap. In this lesson, you will go over what you have learned so far. Review, plan, and prepare. Navigating terrain. Find the best place to start the industry. The deeper you go, the better you will be protected and the closer to the more valuable resources. Keyboard shortcuts. Use the keyboard shortcuts to move up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, rotate left, right, zoom in, out, and centered. Pause often. Make the most out of your time and pause often. The enemy will come unannounced and you want to be prepared. The keyboard shortcut, space. Planning. Plan where you want to place the constructs. The deeper, the better. Use terrain as cover. Think about optimization before you place them. You can always relocate them if you make a mistake. Recipes. Look at the construct you want to build. In build mode or industry mode. Click on the question mark and see the recipe. Navigate through all the levels of the recipe to see what it takes to build. Mining oids and minerals. Place storage units and filter them to allow only certain items. Efficiency is key. Discover items before digging to ensure you don't dig lava by accident. Excavate the terrain when you know what you need. Think about long term. Collect the collectibles lying on the ground and what you've excavated setting them to the prioritized and filtered storages. Placing constructs, filtering and prioritizing storages. Place your constructs and ensure they are adjacent to storages. Filter the storages with edit mask to allow only what you want to go in them. Change priorities to the storages as you see fit. One is top. This ensures that utility drones will send items to where you want first. Relocate items from the original storage to empty it. Deconstruct original storage unit. Collect it to send it to the storage with construct mask. Power links. In wire mode, select generators. Connect them to the gather as well as depots to power them up. You will need to change which depot is powered when you want to produce items. It doesn't matter which red box you choose. Be consistent and you won't get lost in what is connected to what. Use the shortcuts in the menu to the left to connect the power. Observe the available power from the generators. Directional links in wire mode. Select constructs and connect the input to a storage with the respective mask, as well as connecting the output to a storage with the respective mask. Queuing industry production. In industry mode, select the depots you want items from. Type in the filter area to the right. Click on the item you wish to build. Pay attention to the power it takes to build. Ensure you have enough from the generators. Use repeat with or without quantity. Building the industry. In order to build what you want, follow the same steps throughout the game. Start with discovering, excavating, and collecting oids and minerals. Process them in the elemental and foundry depots to make elements and binary agents. Then send processed items through the assembly depot to make components. Then send processed items through the mainframe depot or any other depot to make the constructs. Strategy for building industry. 
place new depots strategically to maximize reusability of existing storages, generators, and gathers when attaching your new depots. Each new depot needs a storage for the output as well as the input. Very good, Cotton Ball. In the next chapter, you'll be tested.